In this series, I'm going to take a closer look at the subject of entrepreneurship for highly sensitive people and share with you why starting your own business as an HSP can be such a liberating and empowering journey. I'm also going to explore the unique pitfalls we HSPs can encounter in entrepreneurship, talk about some of the blocks you might be facing right now, and show you how to overcome them. As a highly sensitive creator or entrepreneur, it's nearly impossible for you to follow the status quo. While other people seem to be going about their lives and nine to five jobs with seeming ease, for you, it's not that simple. There's something different about you, but you're not lazy. In fact, you love working on projects that really light you up. You're probably constantly asking yourself deeply introspective questions and have probably spent much of your life trying to figure out exactly how you fit into the world with your unique set of skills and talents. You know in your heart that you have something big to offer others, but the path is not yet clear or you've been struggling to make meaningful progress. You might feel confused, overwhelmed, and lost. But you're not lost. You're just trying to fit into a paradigm that doesn't leverage all of your gifts. I've been there and I want to help you find your way too. Entrepreneurship certainly has its ups and downs and brings with it a whole slew of challenges that you won't face in a normal job. But it also provides you with a blank canvas for your creativity to flourish, to serve people in unique ways. And it can be an excellent vehicle for personal growth. And most importantly for us HSPs and multi-potentialites, it brings the freedom to design a life that is truly compatible with who you are and maximizes the gifts of your empathy, sensitivity, and varied skill sets. If you're new here, I'm Michael, an HSP, empath, multi-potentialite, and recovering people pleaser with over 20 years of experience running my own businesses. I've been passionate about entrepreneurship for like most of my life, starting from the age of 12 when I got a $100 loan from my grandpa to buy a commercial popcorn machine for my first business, Popcorn Plus, a snack shop I ran from my parents' garage. In high school, I launched a web design company just when the internet was like becoming a thing. I created a search engine, didn't survive very long. <laughs> and then I eventually went to university to study entrepreneurial management. I've had several businesses since then, including one with an office in Karachi, Pakistan, and I've learned the nuances of client management, overseeing global teams, vendors, and partners, and I even sold a business in my late 20s. I've had my hand in every aspect of running a business, from sales and marketing to finances, operations, HR, and I've also made a lot of mistakes, like lots of them, <laughs> but most of them owing to not trusting myself fully and not honoring my own emotional intelligence and traits of being an HSP. There have been moments when I was too afraid to do and say what I knew was right deep down and instead folded. I sacrificed years of hard work and financial gain, all the while spiritually bypassing myself to avoid facing the painful truth that I was letting myself down. I failed countless times to set good boundaries, letting myself be taken advantage of, and most importantly, I denied myself and others from experiencing my true authentic self as a partner and a leader. I learned my lessons and I'm continuing to learn them. And I want to help you to not make the same mistakes I made because there are so many perks to entrepreneurship. I want to show you how to fully embrace all the amazing gifts that come with being a highly sensitive person and also be a badass business person. For too long, we've accepted a lie that the business world operates in black or white. Either you are sensitive, empathetic, introspective, and emotional, and you're seen as a weakness, think starving artist, or you are logical, rational, domineering, a hustler, and someone who will win at all costs, even at the expense of others, and you're seen as successful. It definitely doesn't have to be this way. The concept of yin and yang comes from Chinese philosophy, and it describes opposing yet interconnected forces that affect all aspects of our lives. Yin governs the world of the feminine, representing earth and the body, darkness, the unknown, and night. It's all about the receptive, intuitive, and introspective qualities that come so natural to many of us highly sensitive people. In its healthy expression, 
Yin looks like unconditional love, understanding, kindness, tenderness, surrender, ease, and sensitivity. And in its wounded state, it looks like victimhood, neediness, powerlessness, weakness, manipulation, withholding, and codependency. Now, in order for us to embrace the healthy expression of our yin energy, we must also cultivate a healthy expression of its opposite, yang, or the masculine. Yang governs heaven, the mind, light, that which is known, and daytime. In healthy expression, it looks like confidence, inner strength, focus, protection, clarity, boundaries, and discipline. And in its wounded state, we see abuse of power, domination, aggression, control, avoidance, and instability. Now imagine if these two distinct energies, yin and yang, were to come together in full support of one another. This is where the healthy expression of both and wholeness comes alive. Now what does all of this have to do with entrepreneurship? If you are a highly sensitive person with a desire to go into business for yourself, entrepreneurship is an amazing invitation for you to embrace and direct the masculine energy to support the feminine energy of intuition and sensitivity with the structure, discipline, boundaries, and outward energy that you need to flourish in life. It provides you with unlimited opportunities to create the specific container and vehicle for you to fully thrive. But, and this, this is a huge but, you have to take this freedom and responsibility very seriously. Because if you don't, if you take up the challenge of entrepreneurship and you don't accept your responsibility to synthesize these energies, the masculine and the feminine, you will stay split and you will end up in codependent relationships with your clients and customers. You won't stand up for your worth and earning potential and you will overwork and hustle to the point of burnout. But you don't have to face that outcome. In fact, I think the universe is actually conspiring in your favor to make this integration happen as long as you're paying attention. And hey, you're still watching this video, so that's something. <laughs> in a practical sense, the goal is to build the structure for a business that challenges you, yet creates stability through systems that support your sensitivity and creativity. Along the way, you're gonna get signs which will come to you as impressions or physical sensations in the body, letting you know when you are or are not in flow. This is where tapping into your intuition or your felt sense comes into play. For example, when I experience tension in my body, it could be a result of either too much, too little, or the wrong kind of structure. And by dialoguing with a part of my body that is talking to me through the felt sense, through the discomfort, I can gain insights around what to do next and create the balance that is needed to sustain my life and business in a healthy way. If you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, I do have a free course called Unlocking the Wisdom of the Felt Sense that you can check out, link in the bio. Now, I think that now more than ever, the world needs more conscious leaders like you to step up and take ownership of their valuable gifts, empathy, and sensitivity. There's a huge opportunity to help shift the world into a new paradigm, and it starts with you and how willing you are to show up for your own life. To get started in entrepreneurship, you don't have to have a fully fleshed out business idea just yet, but you do have to be willing to go on the journey and you have to be ready and willing to experience a pretty big personal transformation. In my next video, I'm gonna talk about mindset and identity and why this is so important when you're an HSP going into business for yourself. If you're ready to dive in deeper and want to join a cohort of other highly sensitive entrepreneurs and creators like you, who are serious about building their own business, check out my entrepreneurship bootcamp for HSPs at the link below. And be sure to click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the other videos in this series. I'm excited to see what you're gonna create. Thanks for watching.